All right. So first, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen all these strings. Once I have that done, the next thing that I want to do is, if you find a pair of string cutters with a peg winder, awesome. But if you don't, to cut the strings, you could just use a wire cutter. And I'm just going to use those today. show you what I'm going to be doing up here. I'm just going to unwrap it and pull it through. And the way that I will be showing you how I'm going to be restringing the guitar is what I've been told is the way that companies or brands who make the guitars will actually string them. So this is a really good way of doing it. It's also very fast. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down here. Now all I have to do is push it through. These are super easy, can sometimes be easier than having the bridge pins. Although I do like the bridge pins. Okay. Today, I'm just gonna be using Martin Marquis, and this is a uh, lights, so it's gonna be 12 to 54. Now, some people like to use extra lights or mediums, but this is a three quarter size guitar, so I'm going to just put lights on because of I don't want to put too much tension on the guitar. So the first pack is going to be the sixth string, which is the thickest, and the third string, which is G. Okay. Now that this pack, you can see that this string is thicker. So this is going to be the E string. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it through the hole in the back here, push it through, and see if I can get it up over here. That is the one thing that's kind of a pain about these guitars. And I'm just going to push it all the way through. You should already be able to see 
that there are notches already in the saddle here from where the strings were before. And I want to it to be on there. Next thing is you want to make sure that the tuning machine, the hole in it, is going to be all in line with the nut at the top. Once you do that, I'm going to put the string through the hole and go all the way through. And we're going to pull as tight as you can. And then pinch next to the next tuning machine and push back. This will give it a little bit of a slack. And although I do have the peg winder, I'm not going to be using it just in case you don't have it. And what I do is I, with my thumb, push down so that the string will wrap around the bottom. And you want to make sure that the string is going to be going toward the inside. So, I'm just going to wrap this around. And this way, without the peg winder, it'll take a little bit longer, but that's okay. You want to make sure that it's also going into the little divot in the nut here. You'll start to feel the tension of the string as you hold it down, wanting to push itself back up. And you can see that the string is starting to tighten a little bit. And you just want to tighten it a little bit because we'll We'll uh, tune at the very end. Once you got that all done, I like to cut it pretty close. And that string is now done. Okay, next we're going to find the A string. So, fifth. That's going to be the next thickest. Remember that this is G. I'm going to set it on top of the other packet so I know that that's G. And with this packet, because the B is going to be a plain string or silver steel, I know that the only wound string here is going to be the A. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the G. And I'm going to set the B on top of the packet that says B. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here. So I'm going to put it through the hole here, try to pull it up, make sure it's on the saddle and the divot. Okay. Then you can see that the hole is actually right here. So I'm going to twist it back so it's in line with the saddle. And 
and I'm going to push it through. Do the same thing where I'm going to pinch next to the next tuning machine and push back to get the slack. Put my thumb down and start to tune it toward the inside of you get the headstock here. And also, if it helps out, on this side, you're going to be tuning counterclockwise, if that helps at all. You also want to make sure that it's in the saddle on the divot. You can start to feel the tension. Now, I'm just going to tune it up a little bit. Take this. Cut it. string I have is the D string, the fourth. And because the E is going to be the plain or the silvered steel, it's going to be the only wound string. And by wound is you can see that it's going to be like a bronzish color and it's going to have some divots in there making it the wound string because it's wrapped around. Okay. I'm going to set the string off to the side off camera. I'm going to do the same thing again. And when I get to the top tuning machines, I like to go to the end of the headstock. Sometimes with uh, headstocks being a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter than the, head the tip of the headstock. But this one's not too long. And to shorten the time here on these, I'm going to use the peg winder, which makes it go by a lot faster. Make sure it goes in the right divot. And with these, sometimes they can be a little bit difficult to say are so highly in line and I have to pull it apart so you can see that just in case you have that as well very easy to use next normally you would think that I would go to this one which is the next one with the next uh, lowest string but I'm actually gonna go to the opposite and do the highest E string because it makes it a little bit easier when you're restringing it. So, I'm going to grab this string that I took off camera and do the same exact thing that I have been doing. I'm going to stick it through the hole on the bridge. Pull the string through on the divot. Make sure this is in line. Same works. First time I've used it. 
Yeah, so you're not doing anything different with these plain or silvered steel strings. You just want to go from the bottom to the top on each side. Just two more strings to go. The B, which is going to be the next silvered steel. On acoustics, the uh, low E, the A, the D, and the G will be wound, and the B and the E will be plain or the silvered steel, whereas on an electric guitar, it'll be EAD wound and GBE plain for the most part. And just in just a little bit, I'll show you that in doing it this way, it will wrap around the tuning machine a little bit nicer. And lastly is the G string. And on this side, let's see here. You'll also be turning it counterclockwise to tune it or to restring. You're going to want to tune it counterclockwise to go upward. To Tighten it. And lastly, we are done. And I'll show you a little bit of how the strings will look with this on them, or this way of doing it. As you can see, they're very neatly wrapped around. On the higher strings, it's usually a little bit harder to get wrapped around nicely. But I feel like this does a very good job of doing it. Also, sometimes when you're going to be tuning it up to EADGBE, you will notice that the strings will pop, and that's okay, that just means that they're stretching out. But overall, you now have a restrung guitar. Fairly easy.